think only Koreans are in heaven. <laughs> no other races. <laughs> you know why? They're living under bicultural. They immigrated to the United States. They go to Korean community. They go to Korean church. So they need to break the wall. They need to come out and to see a wide vision. When we focus on our issues and our lives, we cannot see the greater things, what God is doing. Look at Haiti, what is going on right now. Every day on TV, right? Main issues now, now is Haiti. It's a heart aching. Because dead bodies are all of the street, all of the mountains. The roads are destroyed so rescue team cannot get in easily. Think about the disease. Small babies. They just cut their legs and hands. That's all what doctors do. Every day when you look at it, I need to think about the death. It's no longer their issue. It becomes my own issue. And any time I could be like that, there's no guarantee. When tsunami comes, hit the ocean side, just the middle, halfway between San Diego and Irvine, boom. Can you imagine that? That was just a 7.0. But what about 7.1? Hit the ocean side. Can you think of the effect? Where can you hide? Show you we're living on the last days. You know Daniel, the prophecy already came. How many years ago? It's about 4,000 years ago. Many will rush here and there. Technology will increase. That's the end times. We need to prepare. We need to equip ourselves. We need to stay focused on Jesus Christ. We have to put our faith in Jesus Christ. Otherwise there is no guarantee the life after you die. See, multicultural ministry is the original plan and purpose in God's heart. He started from Genesis and to do his ministry in the work of salvation. So we must understand God has called all of us to do the multicultural ministry and then he wants to use us as a bridge man and woman to connect from one people to another people. One point to another point. One nation to another nation. Because we trusted both cultures and they adopted their cultures and languages, everything. That's what God used all his people here in the Old Testament. So when we do that, thirdly, as he promised to Abraham, go down, skip, skip, yeah, God will bless you and people will be blessed through you. This is the third point. Just like God promised Abraham, all nations, all people, all families will be blessed through you. And I will make you 
Great Buddha said, first two. Famous. And you will be a blessing to others. So as the New Testament proclaim that in season, out of season, we need to preach the Word of God. We surely live in end times. Only God knows our end day, but Jesus will come soon. That's the urgency. Look at what is going on in this world. Not only the war, the disasters. Just like Matthew 24 predicted, the last days this will happen. Famine, war against nations. Children kill their own parents. Murder, earthquake. All the things. It is happening now. Just like what Revelation says, the tribulation will come. We are living like in tribulation already. The last day, the Armageddon, the great war against evil power to the holy people. But it is happening already. Antichrist already came. So we need to look up the sky and open our eyes to see as a big picture. Big vision. What God is doing right now, not only to my life, to our church, but to this world. He is preparing to come again. When it comes to things, judgment. For believers, rewards. Non-believers, judgment. They're going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Burning fire. So what should we do? So think about that. When we read the Bible, we surely live on the last days and times. And the heart of God started from the very beginning of the Bible. And right now, in LA, as I mentioned, New York, more than 80% of nations are presenting themselves. It's not far away. LA is Without traffic, about 40 minutes, we can go. Think about that, 220 nations are there. Surely this is the end times. God wants to harvest. It's no longer one-on-one -on -one evangelism. God wants to say there's a group and community, the nation. That's why God brought us here to train and equip and to know and understand the heart of God and to go out and preach the gospel because time is near. We need to wake up. God wants us to be take a part of this mission. This plan. This is not the time that we focus on our, our own issues. Look at the people in Haiti. They never expect to have such horrible things. But one day it came. Look. Chaos. That is our life. There is no guarantee. Don't boast about what I have and what I achieved. Who I am is nothing. Be humble. God says God opposed the pride. 